The paper bill is a bare instrument. Possession is finality. Verification is against the bill, okay? Not the holder. So in a bear, with a bare instrument, we don't care who the holder is. Anybody can hold it. We just care if that bill is genuine and has value. And whoever is in possession of that bill has the right to spend it and is the owner of it. So paper bills offer better financial sovereignty. Why? Anyone can hold it using any container, right? So if it's paper cash, if I have hands, I can hold it in my hands, hold it in my wallet. I can put them in safes. Regardless of my nationality, regardless of jurisdiction, and no one needs an account. That is the financial sovereignty that paper bills can enable. So we asked, what's the best technology to digitize paper coupons and make it easy for people to access them, authenticate them, and detect counterfeits? Of course, it's the blockchain. So we created the first fast global money transfer network from, and we moved from disconnected, closed-looped network of database ledgers to tokenized cash on permissionless blockchains with tokens that anyone can hold and send and where no account issuance is required.